Okay, what is Sketching Scotland? It's my newest project, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for years. I'm walking around the entire coast of Scotland, all 11,000 miles, which includes the islands. Not all at once. It's probably going to take me years, but I'm most importantly, I'm painting my way along mile by mile. And as a lot of you know, I am not new to painting outside. It's the biggest part of my art practice. Since I moved to Scotland five years ago, I've been doing my best to get to know this country and experience it in a deeper way. And I don't know any better way to do that than to walk and hike and actually be immersed in nature. So this goes a lot deeper than just having a sketchbook full of memories. This is my way of connecting with my new home country and I fall more in love with Scotland every single year, every single day. <laughs> I'll be sharing the journey both hiking and painting along the trail over on my Sarah in Scotland YouTube channel, but once in a while here on my art channel I'm gonna do little compilations of just the art side of it. So showing you some of the sketches and then what I do, I take that back to the studio and paint what inspired me. I can't think of a better way to progress my studio practice than to draw from the inspiration that I get on the trail. So I am making it a priority to spend a few hours per week painting in the studio based on what I saw on the trail, what inspired me on the trail. To be honest, I was a bit overwhelmed by the comments and the response on my last video about how I feel about painting in the studio versus outside. So many people reached out to me with such good advice and such kind, generous comments, and I'm still going through all of the comments, so thank you for being patient. <laughs> but I have to say that this project has just rekindled my fire for painting. And it's not like I lost that fire. It was just that I was feeling very spread thin and kind of bouncing all over the place and feeling a lot of pressure to create big pieces in the studio. But I hadn't stopped to think of why or like what was I trying to say. And this project is giving me like a very clear direction and like you can probably tell like how excited I'm like bubbling over with excitement. <laughs> it just feels like everything is aligning for this project to happen right now and a huge part of that is because of my Patreon. The support I get through Patreon, all of my lovely supporters, is what's allowing this to be possible and I'm just so incredibly incredibly grateful. <laughs> so I will be giving my patrons some perks once in a while, like scans of my sketchbook pages from the trail and some other behind the scenes stuff. So like I said, I'll be posting the long format videos over on my other channel. Link is in the description and the little arc recaps will be here on my art channel. And I just really hope you enjoy them. By the way, I'm fine. It's just my wrist injury acting up. Of course, I'll be doing other painting videos and like my usual stuff here on my art channel. Um, so if you really want to follow this journey, I recommend following my Sarah in Scotland channel and my blog because that's where I'm going to be doing like trail notes and lots of behind the scenes stuff. So here are all of these sketches and yeah, the art recap from episode one of Sketching Scotland, a coastal journey.
One thing I was thinking a lot about when I was out on the trail is that a lot of the paintings I'm thinking of that are kind of bouncing around in my head that I'll eventually paint kind of tie directly into the ongoing Pathways series that I started a while ago. And that's kind of exciting because that project has been very slow progress. And in a way, I think that's kind of an indefinite project. <laughs> it doesn't really have an end date in my head, but I kind of let it go for a while. And so what I'm thinking is let myself just experience the trail do lots of sketches or notes, and whenever I can, make these little postcard size paintings back in the studio to reflect on what I experienced on the trail. And then possibly I'll come up with some milestones down the road, like maybe every 100 miles or something. I can either do a print release or maybe even talk to a gallery about doing some kind of show, or I don't know. There's a lot that this could turn into, but at the moment I'm trying not to obsess over what it could be and just experience what it is. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask what it's all going to turn into and what I'm going to do with everything, but for now, let's just exist in the moment and enjoy it. <laughs>